Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to see how to crochet this cute little daisy. So let's get started. I'm using two yarns yellow and white and a 3 mm hook that hook is 10 years old I'm gonna start with the yellow yarn I'm gonna start with the magic ring wrap them around your three fingers make an X Turn to the other side, insert your hook through the first strand to the second, grab the second strand of yarn and twist it like that. Remove your fingers, grab the yarn really tight. That is how you do a magic ring. Now I am going to start making a chain so that the magic ring is in place chain one now I'm going to make 12 single crochet stitches around the magic ring that was one insert into the magic ring Grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops. That is how you do a single crochet. Insert into the magic ring, pull the yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops. You can keep doing this around the magic ring. If you see, you can keep pulling the tail end so that the magic ring becomes smaller as you keep doing those single crochet stitches around the magic ring so if you hold it in a proper position then you see that the stitches are equal in size With an even tension, you can achieve that. Mm, the strands are slightly coming out, but it will not be seen much, I guess. I'm pulling the tail end so that there is no hole in the middle, or there is a very small hole in the middle. Now I have completed 12 single crochet stitches around the magic ring. That is how it looks. Now once this is done, you can slip stitch into that first stitch. Insert your hook into that chain. Grab the yarn into the chain like that and into your loop. That is how you do a slip stitch. Now this is done. We have to start with the petal. For petal, I'm going to use white yarn since it is daisy. We are attaching the white strand of yarn into that yellow loop. Since the strands are coming out, it's quite challenging. You can also tie it out, tie the white yarn to the loop. That is another way. Here, you, when you pull the yellow strand, it becomes tight. And then I'm cutting off the yellow yarn. 
for the petals it's fully going to be white i think the yellow strand of yarn is quite long i should have cut more making sure that it is tight enough and three chains so i've added three chains with the white yarn and into the same stitch i'm inserting the hook yarn over and then insert into the same hook uh, i mean the same stitch so that is the stitch i'm going to use for this petal so yarn over into that stitch now make sure the length is equal to the three chains yarn over pull through two loops again yarn over into the previous stitch the same stitch yarn over pull through two loops you're going to do this three times in each petal yarn over insert hook in the same stitch then yarn over pull through two loops now you will have four loops on the hook all you have to do now is yarn over and pull through all the four loops now i'm going to do a chain 3 chain 1 chain 2 chain 3 now slip stitch into the same stitch we had been working on the same stitch for for this petal so we are done with that moving on to the next chain slip stitch to the next chain like that and it's going to be pretty much the same pattern chain 1 chain 2 chain 3 now yarn over insert grab the yarn make sure the length is uh, the same as the two ch three chains and yarn over pull through two loops again yarn over insert the hook pull the yarn strands yarn over pull through two loops again repeat it with the same stitch remember to do it on the same stitch yarn over pull through two loops now you will have four loops on the hook yarn over pull through all the four loops now chain 3 and slip stitch into the same space chain 2 chain 3 slip stitch into the same space you had been working on but that the second petal is done you should keep doing this until you run out of stitches now i'm going to slip stitch into the next chain like so and chain 3 chain 1 chain 2 chain 3 now yarn over insert into the same chain now yarn over pull through two loops now you'll have two loops on the hook continue the same steps two more times now you have three loops on the hook do it again yarn over insert into the same space yarn over pull through two loops now you'll have four loops yarn over pull through all the four loops and make sure you do a chain 3 and slip stitch into the same space now you can continue to do that again slip stitch to the next okay i think it's time to cut off this long yellow strand it's quite disturbing now we've completed three petals moving on to the next chain doing a slip stitch there 
so as you keep doing this slip stitch you'll see that the petals are getting formed on top of the yellow middle part of the flower so three chains again yarn over insert so this is the formula yarn over insert grab then yarn over pull through two loops so this is going to be repeated three times totally three times after the chain three this is the only thing we have to remember for this pattern somewhat like puff stitch but not exactly the puff stitch yarn over insert yarn over pull through two loops that is the formula for this now you'll have four on the hook yarn over pull through all the loops chain three so you'll start with the chain three for the petal and end with the chain three and a slip stitch that is the only thing you have to remember apart from the tunisian type of puff stitch kind of uh, pattern in the middle these strands are coming out so it's quite challenging especially for this kind of pattern and this hook combination so slip stitch into the next chain chain 3 yarn over into the same chain wrap the yarn give some height yarn over pull through two loops and do it again yarn over insert give it a height yarn over pull through two loops now you'll have three on the hook again yarn over three times you're doing that insert hook give it a height yarn over pull through two loops now you'll have totally four loops on the hook you can yarn over and pull through all the four loops and then chain three and a slip stitch to the same space moving on to the next stitch so we have completed how many petals three four five petals are done slip stitch to the next chain so i think we'll have seven petals for this pattern chain one chain two chain three yarn over insert into the same chain space give it some height yarn over pull through two loops repeat the same two more times yarn over insert grab the yarn give it some height yarn over pull through two loops now you have three loops on the hook when you do this once again you'll have four loops on the hook and you yarn over pull through all the four loops and chain three and slip stitch into the same space now six petals done and one more to go you can attach this to your headbands to your bag you can even make a keychain out of this just go creative how to use this in the end you can leave a long strand of yarn for stitching it 
to some other project. Now this will be the last petal. It's going slightly out of focus but I think this process is clear. We do a chain 3 and 3 times we do a particular pattern. That is we yarn over, insert, grab, give it some height and yarn over, pull through 2 loops. So this is going to happen 3 times and finally after doing all that we'll have four loops on the hook that is that will tell you that you have done it as per the pattern and now once this is done you will chain three and do a slip stitch into the same space now this is done to finish this, you can slip stitch into the next stitch so that you complete that circle for the white petal. That last slip stitch to be done and you can chain one and finish it. It's again going there, out of focus, sorry about that. I'm just doing a slip stitch into the next stitch if you see. That's all and I'm just doing a chain one to finish. We are pretty much done with the daisy flower. I'm going to cut that yarn. All you have to do now is weave the strands into the flower and give some shape. To the flower I'll tell you how you do that you can pull the yellow strand the tail end of the yellow strand and the petals I'm trying to make the hole in the middle as small as possible Yes, this is done. And for the petals, make sure that the petals are puffing out and not puffing in. So I'll quickly show you how to weave those ends, those small strands into the flower so that they are secure and you can cut them really close and they don't come out you can use a needle or you can use this crochet hook just cut them very close nothing's going to happen because you've secured them well and white into the white flower petal part so i'm going to do the same both the strands and cut them really close so this is not going to come out and this needs some more weaving into the petal once this is done you can cut it really close so our daisy is pretty much ready so make sure the puff is out and not in like that just give that shape to the flower it should not be inside it should go out like that and that's how i did it hope you liked it thank you bye